Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here. In our Week 14 matchup, we have Jay Cutler out on the IR, and then Ryan Mundy is out for six weeks. We're facing the Dallas Cowboys as they're missing starters uh, Frederick, Lawrence, Crawford, Mincy, and Curry, while they're missing their slot receiver Cole Beasley. So they're going to be missing some talent. Last game, the Cowboys won by protecting the football and not actually turning it over to the Eagles and relying on DeMarco Murray in the run game. But here we are at Soldier Field for our Week 14 matchup against the Cowboys and the Bears. There's Tony Romo looking at his players, getting ready for the game. And we will see our playoff hopes as we are 7-5 for a wild card. And as we see, we're tied with Philadelphia 7-5. We hold the tiebreaker. Here's DeMarco Murray in the end zone, getting ready to receive the kickoff from Robbie Gold. As we see our line of Bears getting ready for the kickoff. And here we are in week 14 against the Cowboys. A short kick taken on the 10 by DeMarco Murray. And he's quickly wrapped up at about the 20, 27, 28 yard line. As we see we have Kasim Green down. A big contributor on special teams. Looks like either a chest or an arm injury. We'll have to check in later as Tony Romo, the first play of the game, give it to Harris. Up in that slot, getting a gain of 17. Next play, give it to Marco Murray, and he's taken down after a gain of about 7 or 8. Here's Romo, five step drop, and here's Dunbar trying to get through Bossick's tackle until he's hit hard by Fuller there. He's going to be short of a first down. Next play, there's Bostic backfield tackle on. DeMarco Murray, as we see David Fales, 69 percentage, uh, completion percentage, 3,300 yards, 25 touchdowns, and 20 interceptions. Coming on, on the Bears' first possession, he's going to have to protect the football, and on the first play, almost gets sacked in the end zone, able to get it off, but Forte is covered quickly on that screen. So here's your Bears' offense, who is healthy minus Cutler, we need to watch out for these receivers against a healthy Chicago, actually, uh, Dallas secondary. Giving it to Forte. Forte is quickly gobbled up after a short game. And here's your Cowboys starters. As we see, Henry Melton's anchoring the middle of the line. Bruce Carter, Sean Lee is going to be big to watch out in the linebackers as they have a Good secondary and Carl Wilcox, Church, and Cedric. So this fails. Rolling out the outside to play action. Trying to get the first down. He's going to be short. The Bears are actually going to go for it. And here, no one picks up the defensive end. Possibly a blown, a blown uh, assignment by, uh, by Bennett. As we see DeMarco Murray go for six yards. Next play, he stopped, but he gets two or three. As we see, your starters on offense for the Dallas Cowboys. So there, Steve Vallis is taking over for the injured uh, Frederick in the middle, anchoring that line, the veteran, not allowing a lesser uh, rookie and experienced. As you see. Tony Romo scrambling outside, get away from the pressure, give it to Bryant for the first touchdown of the game. And here's Forte, looks like a gain of seven. And here, dropping back, quick pass to Forte, coming out of the backfield for a gain of three. So here's Forte on the quick handoff. That's a gain of seven. Second and three. Here's Fells, he's looking, tries to fit it in there to Jeffrey, it's knocked out of his hands. Next play, third and three. Fells looks, and he tries to force it into Alshon Jeffrey there. So we're going to see a punt on the ensuing drive. The first play, here's DeMarco Murray for a gain of 15 and a first down. And here's Dallas Cowboys. Tony Romo's looking. He's going to drop back. Seven step drop. He's looking. He's looking. He's going to give it to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's going to get out of bounds. As we look at your starters for the Chicago Bears, we have Lamar Houston for the second week in a row. We are mostly healthy. But we had Drone Buchanan starting for the injured Ryan Mundy and Brock Vereen in his third, second or third start for Conti. But here's a false start on the Dallas Cowboys. 
So it's going to make it second and 15 to Marco Murray. Going around some pressure, going around some tacklers, and gets a gain of 17 and a first down. Mad emotion for Tony Romo on first and 10, giving it to Dunbar this time. And he's going to have a little running room as he bobs and goes vertical for five yard gain. His Romo feels the pressure a little bit from the backside and gets the first down. First down, King of Seven. Here's a face mask by Bostic. And so that's going to give them a first down. Consuming play. Here's Williams. Also catch from Tony Romo. There's another touchdown. 14 0. Cowboys. Play action to David Fails. Tries to fit it in there and get it to his tight end until you see Carr come with a diving interception. So that's going the other way now. Already. The Cowboys are capitalizing on every single drive. So here we go. First and ten. Almost picked off by Jennings as the slot receiver there. Williams drops the pass. Ensuing play. We can't get a sack by Jared Allen. He gets to that pressure. It gets a gain too. Third and ten. Tony Romo three-step drop. There is a missed tackle. And he gets caught up with his, defense, his offensive lineman. So they're going to kick a field goal. 17. To zero. Here's a sack on fails as he can't find anyone. And here's a throw to Bennett. Short and he gets up some yards there for a gain of nine and on suing pass. There is a crossing route slant for the first down to Marquise Wilson. Screen play by Forte. He's got some room. Let's see if anyone can catch him. He's off and he gets caught there. And he's cleaned up by Barry Church. We're in within uh, 11 yards, and here's a pass to Bennett, two fails, and he's going to get to the six. Still second and six. There's a pass forced by David Fails and quickly intercepted as no one's going to catch him. Marquise Wilson probably had a chance to tackle him, and there's more slot corner with the pick six. 24-0. This game is quickly going out. As there's a tight pass to Zach Miller for a game of 17. And here's Forte on the outside. It's hit from behind there by, by, I believe that's Bruce Carter. And here's a sack on David Fowles. He's fumbled. No one can pick it up. Morris Claiborne picks it up. Takes it the other way. And here's another defensive touchdown for the Cowboys. This game is quickly getting out of hand. As that makes it 31 to 0. Here's a, a rush to Forte. He's going to get a gain of 12 here. We got a man in motion, a fake handoff to Hester, and that's going to be a sack on Fails. So here it is, second and 18. Here's another sack on Fails. He's just under pressure. This time it's Spencer for a second sack. Third and 22. It's forced up the middle. We have a flag on the play, though. But J.J. Wilcox is going to return it. And we're going to see what this flag is. As it is a roughing the passer. So luckily the Bears don't lose the ball again. This one's on Daryl Tapp. So we're going the other direction in the Bears football. Here's one to Avery with a gain of six. And here's a handoff to Forte. Forte's got some room up the middle. Gets a gain of about ten. And that's a first down. So first and ten on the Chicago Actually, the Dallas 31s. This one's dropped by Martellus Bennett. Second and 10. Fails dropping back. He's looking. And here's a good catch by Zach Miller, shielding the ball from the defender for the first down. So, first and 10 on the Dallas 21. As we see Kadeem Carey, he has some room. Gets tackled by one of the linebackers there. And here's Fails, an assuming play. It gets sacked. And that's going to be second goal on the 10. Here's a slant to Marshall. He gets back the yards that was lost in the sack. He's in the fourth down. And here's a quick slant pass that's quickly taken down by the Dallas Cowboys. So that's going to be 31-2-3 as the Bears kick a field goal. Here's a seven steps drive the Romo. And here's Williams all alone. No one there. Romo has two men in the backfield. Three-step drop. Gives it to Witten coming out of the backfield for a seven-yard gain. Swing pass. Give it to Murray. And there's Bostic on the stop. No gain. Third and three. Here's a screen play. It's covered quickly by Sherrick McManus on Dunbar. So we're going the other way. Here's 
fails. Feeling a little pressure, getting away from it, fitting in Alshon Jeffrey with three uh, Cowboys around him. And here's Forte with a nine yard gain. Here's a seven strip drop, giving it to Forte out of the backfield. And he is going to be close to a first down, and they're going to give it to him. So, first and 10 on the 41 of Dallas. Here's Kadeem Carey with the carry for seven yards. Here's Carey again, trying to get that first down. And he is going to be a yard short. They're going to give it to Forte. Forte's got some room. As the Bears clear that area for a 12-yard gain. Here's fail, 7-strip drop. Give it to Zach Miller. Throw as high as Zach Miller can't turn and run. So it's gain 2. Here fails his hit while he throws. It's going to be 3rd and 8. And here is a good throw, but Devin Hester can't hold on to it. So it's going to be 31-6. to six. Romo doesn't see anyone. Gives it to Williams in the slot. Williams fighting for some yards here. Gets 6 yards. So 2nd and 4 on their own. 26, and here we see Williams wide open, hard hit by Fuller. That's going to be a first down to the 41. It is 41 seconds left. There's another one to Street. That's going to be a first down, a good pass of about 20. And here's one, but we got a penalty, and that's going to be rough in the passer, giving Dallas another 15 yards on top of the 25-yard gain. And now Dallas, a uh, six-yard gain in the last uh, play. By Tony Romo on the reception. And here's a drop pick by Kyle Fuller with 25 seconds left on third and four. Actually, on second and four. Third and four. Here it is to Des Bryant. That's going to be a first down. So 20 seconds left. First to go on the four. Tony Romo, three step drop. He's looking. He's looking. Fires it in there to straight. And that is a touchdown. The Cowboys make it 38 to six before the half. So next half, starting in the second, we see Hester returning it as the Bears start out with a ball. See if the Bears can get something positive in this game. As here's a play action, the Cowboys send one. Here's a big stiff arm by Bennett, and he's going to be, be brought down abruptly after the stiff arm for a game of six. Here's a play action. Fails going to roll out. Feels the pressure. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. And here, the defender leaves Marquise Wilson to cover Martellus Bennett. And that's going to be a big 40-yard gain. And here is the blitz coming. Giving to Forte out of the backfield. And he's going to get a gain of 11. That's going to be first down. Third and goal as there were two incompletions. And here is a roughing the passer while it could have been a fourth and goal. So we're going to give... The Bears some more on an incomplete pass on first down. Here's second down, and Brandon Marshall with the touchdown on the slant pay play. 38-13. Let's see if the Bears can get some momentum on defense. See this one to DeMarco Murray. He runs out of bounds for a gain of five after reception. Three-step drop by Romo. Quick fire pass to Harris. He's quickly hit by Bostic. That's a first down. So here is a... Uh, Handoff to Jamarco Murray. He gets a first down, gain of 11. Give it to Dunbar this time. And Dunbar is quickly hit, but not after a gain of, gain of 8. Here's another one to Dunbar. Gets caught up, goes backwards, and actually loses a yard. Dwayne Buchanan there stops him. And here's first and 10 now after Jamarco Murray got the previous uh, first down. And here's another 7 yards to Murray. Here's Dunbar. He's going to get a good spot for a first down there. As the Cowboys are moving down the field. And there's a quick pass to Dunbar. And that's going to be a 7-yard seven seven, uh, gain. Here is a handoff to Harris coming out of the backfield. And that's going to be stopped. As we see Cornelius Washington with the sack on 3rd and 4. Taking Dallas out of field goal range. And that's going to be kick off a punt. And there's Marquise Wilson with a gain of 3. Here's a quick throw on... The curl route to Alshon Jeffrey for the first time. Here's a quick throw to Forte. Come on the backfield. As we are in a no huddle stance. As we're going, here's a screen to Forte. And no one's there. He picks up two blocks. Let's see if he can go. And it looks like he may have one man to beat. And he is caught and taken down on the one. So here in the next play, force it in there to Alshon Jeffrey for the touchdown. He's shaking up, but he will come back uh, next week as... We're not going to force him to play and lose Alshon Jeffrey on the as a gain of four on the first rush. Here's again another four, and he is brought down by Bostic 
at the line of scrimmage. No gain as David Fales takes a sack here besides forcing the ball in. Second 19. Man in motion is Brandon Marshall. It's on the Marshall. Almost picked for another pick six, but it's not there. And here's an overthrown ball to Martellus Bennett. Tony Romo is going to get a shot. And here's a big interception by Bostic, his first of the year. But as we see here, we're going to attack on a face mask. So it's going to be first and 10 on the 10. Fails rolls out. He's looking. He doesn't like what he sees. He's going to try to get the first down fumbles. Actually, the touchdown fumbles out of bounds. Assuming play. Gives it to Brandon Marshall on the two-yard touchdown on another slant play. And now it's 38-27. to And here's DeMarco Murray getting caught up as he's finally brought down by Bostic for a three-yard gain. Here's Murray. He's brought down by Jared Allen this time with a gain of five. And here we can't have a tackle by Buchanan. He just pushes him instead of wrapping up Lance. Uh, Lance Dunbar, and that's a first down. DeMarco Murray has the edge. It's sealed, but he ends up running out of bounds for a gain of 12. Here's Dunbar. He gets tackled by Jennings after a gain of 7. Let's see if the Bears can hold him here. Man in motion. Romo takes five strip drop. He's looking. He's looking. He dumps it off to Harris from the slot, and that's going to be a first down. Here is a play-action pass, and he's going to rifle it in there to Witten, and that's going to be another first down. Give it to Marco Murray. Next play on first and ten. And he's wrapped up by Bostic for a five-yard gain. Three-step drop by Roma. He's looking. He's going to give it to Wooten. Uh, not Wooten, but Witten. And that's going to be a face mask on the play. Give him an automatic first down and Dunbar next play with a touchdown. So it's 45-27. Fails at the play action. Rifles is in there to Forte coming out of the backfield, and that's going to be an eight-yard gain. You know the play action, and here's Miller. He's got some room getting away from the defender, and that's going to be a first down. So here's another play action. Giving out to Forte over the middle for a first down. Running a new no huddle. Fails his hit hard, but not before he gets it away to Marquise Wilson for a gain of seven. Seven strip drop. Raffle in there to Brandon Marshall. That's a gain of seven and a first down after the incompletion of first down. Here's second and ten. Trying to force the issue, and it's almost picked off by Spillman. Third and ten. Play action. Fail steps up. Tries to get to Kadeem Carey, and it's ripped out of his hands by Carter. Fourth and ten. Here's a fumble after the fumble sack on Fails. And here is another Dallas Cowboys defensive touchdown. So that's, what, four on the game today? That makes it 52-27. Fails comes out almost intercepted, but Brandon Marshall snags it out of the air for a 17-yard gain. Here's Forte out of the backfield, breaking one tackle. Gets a gain of five. Play action to Forte. Fails, gives it to Martellus Bennett in the flat third and four. Five-step drop. Give it quickly to Forte out of the backfield. It gets a 8-yard gain and a first down. Gets to the Dallas 40. Here's one to Miller. All alone. And here is a 11-yard gain. Fails. Three-step drop. He's looking. He's going to ride for it. Overthrows uh, B.J. Cunningham. There's a good overthrow, the, though. On the slot play, here's one to Tanner Doss for a gain of 17. Here is a blitz coming up the middle. And the defender misses the tip ball. Trying to knock it down. There's Avery with a touchdown after the catch. So it's 52-34. See if the Bears' defense can stop Murray. And there's a good backfield two-yard loss tackle by Lamar Miller. Or Lamar Houston as DeMarco Murray goes down on an eight-yard gain there. Third and one. Dunbar is going to have it. He's taken down by Bostic for a five-yard gain. First and ten. Here's Dunbar getting hit by Bostic. And finished by Houston for a one-yard gain. Here's Ruben Randall getting stopped in the backfield by Briggs. Actually, that's a that's a rush of no gain. So third and nine. Tony Romo, quick pass to Harris. As you see, Briggs can't bring him down until he gets the first down. Here's Dunbar getting stopped in the backfield by Buchanan. Loss of three. Second three. Romo's going to run. Feels the pressure. And he gets hit hard as the... The fumble is forced by Williams and quickly snagged on the air by Buchanan. So Chicago's got some more life with four minutes left. And there's a quick throw to Hester over the middle. Hester can't bring it down. Fails play action. He's looking. He's got some pressure. Almost picked off by Spillman this time. 
Here's Fails trying to force the issue into Marquise Wilson. It's knocked down. Fourth and ten. Fails is looking, and he forces it. Barry Church is all over that ball, and it's going the other way. That is another Cowboys interception there. So here's Dunbar getting stopped by Paia for a gain of five. And here's a good spin move on Bostic by, uh, by Ruben Randall. And here's Harris. Gets hit hard on third and four. He's going to go down with the injury. Bears get the ball back. Two minutes, 40 seconds left. Fails rolling out after the play action. He's got a little room and gets the first down. Play action. The blitz is picked up. Fails on the outside. He's looking. And he waits to throw this ball, and it's almost picked off. It possibly could have been complete if he didn't wait. There's Marquise Wells, a six-yard gain on a slant. Here's Forte in the backfield getting it. Four, three-yard gain. Fourth and one. Give it to Forte. Forte's got some room right up the middle for a seven-yard gain. First and ten on the Bears, 48. Give it to Devin Hester up the middle. He's got 12 yards into Dallas territory. Play action to carry. Fails, feels some pressure at the backside. Gives it off to Miller, and that's going to be a gain of seven. It's on the uh, the Cowboys, 31. And there's a forced pass. Gets in a tight window to B.J. Cunningham for the first down. Fails, five-step drop, looking, and tries to fit it in there, and it's tipped out by a Dallas defender. Here's Fails. Giving it to Kadeem Carey out of the backfield. It gets the 10 yards and a couple more for a first down. We're first and 10 on... The 13, Fails tries to throw, but he's hit, and he's going to be out. Here's Cobb. Cobb fits in a tight window to Martellus Bennett with 55 seconds left. So that is going to be a 52-47 to ball game. So 11 points, onside kick, taken by Ruben Randall, and he's going to be getting tackled by a bunch of Bears. Bears still got three timeouts. Here's Dunbar. He's hit hard by Williams for a gain of four. Here's Ruben Randall. He's taken down by Buchanan in the backfield, and the Bears have one timeout. Can they stop him on third and eight? Here's Dunbar. He gets gang tackled before. But as we see here, here's another game-ending face mask. This is our second time besides this a penalty has ended a game for the Bears, possibly giving them a tie, a time and a chance to tie it. So that's it. The Bears are going to fall to 7-6 and six after they lose to the Cowboys today. As we will have to see next week if the Eagles have lost and then we're still in that wild card hunt. Or if they in fact have taken that wild card spot. Next week, I believe we end up playing the... Saints with Breeze coming off uh, possibly a uh, mediocre year. But we'll have to see next time as we own our destiny in this and we have to play better and not give the Saints five turnovers. Thank you, guys.